All right, we're going to get things started with Megan Montefusco. We'll have Aaron McLeod, and then we'll wrap up with Seb Hines. Uh, Aaron, or sorry, Megan, thank you so much for taking uh, some time after this one. Can you just kind of get us started with your overall thoughts on the game today? Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously that's not how we wanted to end our season there. Um, we knew they were going to come out uh, high pressing us and gun, guns blazing. Um, and they had a really strong start. And I think, you know, um, you know, Seb said, you know, some of us had a little bit of stage fright and we're backed into the corner a bit, but um, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough one. And, um, but I'm, at the end of the day, I'm still really proud of this team. It's been a long season and we've come a really long way. So we finished the game strong. And I think that was a, a positive takeaway from today. Thanks, Meg. Uh, Austin, I'll open your line for any questions you have. Thanks, Jackie. Uh, hey, Megan, how you doing? Um, obviously, like you said, not the result that you guys wanted, but uh, a better second half compared to the first. What was the message at halftime from the coaching staff to you guys? Yeah, I mean, it was just focus on the details. Um, want the ball, get on the ball, um, check your shoulder, scan. Um, I think, you know, we were just turning into people and they were playing faster and getting in the, in the spaces quicker than we were. And um, we were just playing a little bit too slow. So I think um, we just had to get on the ball and be confident on it and, and do the little things right. And I think we definitely did that in the second half and, and picked up the speed a bit um, to match their pace of the game. Played in the midfield now for a, a number of games this season. How have you felt just in terms of your, your comfortability in, in playing that kind of six role uh, rather than playing the, the center back role you've played uh, for the majority of the season? Yeah, I mean, I really like it. Um, I like being able to protect the center backs because I know what they go through back there, obviously. Um, so I think that's a, a huge thing that I can do is just understand what what needs to be done in that space in front of them. Um, and then on the other side of that, I think it's just been great working with players like Gunny, who's really helped guide me um, in there and just learn the movements as quick as possible. And it's it's honestly fun getting the ball and being able to play forward a bit more. Um, it's something I like to do in the center back position, but you have to be a little bit more disciplined. So um, to be just a, a step higher is pretty nice. And um, like I said, it's been great to learn from the players around me who have more experience. Kind of just looking at the fact that you've been playing as a six, a lot of players have played in various positions over the course of the season. Um, how has that been just in terms of the kind of versatility of this entire team being able to play various roles within the team to, to try and get the job done? Yeah, I mean, that's been a huge part of the season for this team, especially, um, you know, I've been on a lot of teams in this league and this one has just been through a lot. Um, there's been a lot of turnover, a lot of change, a lot of new players coming in and out. And I know that happens on every team, but I think this one has been um, a standout for me and um, players have had to step up in new roles every single game and and just kind of show up and, and play and that can be really tough and with confidence and just, you know, being prepared um, as much as possible, especially when you're playing teams like the rain, you know, these players have been playing in those positions for years. So um, to have to step up and, and play in new positions with new views, new angles, it can be tough, but um, I think our team has done a really good job of just um, dealing with the adversity and, and stepping up to the challenge. So I think, you know, just looking ahead, um, the message at the end of the game was just um, we're really excited for next season and, and all the things that this team can do. I think we've shown so much, um, just like you said, versatility, number one, and just dealing with adversity and coming out on a positive. So um, I'm excited for next season and to, to be able to carry what we've learned and go gone through this season into next season. You mentioned the season that this team has kind of gone through a very tumultuous one a lot of changes a lot of uh different things happening behind the scenes as well what have you kind of learned uh not just about this team but about yourself through the course of going through all of this um kind of something unique within uh your career who's who's been around the league for as long as you have been that's a good question um i think this year pushed me a lot to be more of a leader um and kind of keep, stay composed in moments that are really challenging. Um, you know, it's it, it can be easy to speak first and, and not really listen to what's going on around you. But I think what I've learned is to take a step back and really understand where everyone's coming from and um, try my best to bring the team together. And uh, I think a huge thing in this league is, you know, being a team and being united. Um, you can't just turn up on the field and all be individuals, that's not gonna work. Um, so I think taking a step back, understanding 
um, everyone's unique position and what they've gone through personally on and off the field and and really kind of leaning into that and then bringing the team together so we can play out there and, and look like we want to be together and, and be one. So um, I think just leadership in different ways has been a big thing for me this year. And um, it's definitely been tough, but um, I've learned a lot and, um, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I'm glad I went through it. And um, I think this team is better from it as well. So like I said, I'm really looking forward to next season. It's been a really fun end of the season with this team. And um, it might not show in our results. Um, I think we had a really good stretch of games in the middle of the season, and that was really exciting for us. Um, didn't finish the way we wanted to, but still some really good takeaways and um, growth that, uh, again, I'm just looking forward to next season from that. And speaking of next season, what do you feel like the biggest thing that needs to to change in order for this team to be consistent, to be competing for, for a, a playoff spot needs to be for, for 2023? Yeah, I think we're missing a, key, a couple key pieces to the puzzle. I'm um, not going to lie. I think, you know, we have a great team. We have great players. We just might need a little bit more experience in certain roles and um, some players that can be kind of an example in those roles. Um, I think that would help a lot. Uh, and then again, just continuing to build and, and learn um, with this group and build relationships. We have been, you know, up and down and new team. It felt like a new team every other game out there just because we've had so much turnover. So I think just continuing to build those relationships um, and playing with more confidence because you know we've had time together. Um, to not be able to play next to each other, next to the same players consistently can be really tough. So um, to have some more consistency next to players that will be in there and will be in those roles um, and you can count on that, I think is gonna help us a lot. And um, I think, once we get a team out there and one that we can be consistent with, I think um, we'll be able to play a little bit more united and, and win some more games. That's all for me. Thanks, Megan. All right, Sean, anything from you? Oh, yep. Uh, go ahead, Sean. Uh, can you talk about the impact of uh, conceding such an early goal tonight? Um, Seb talks a lot about uh how goals change games and uh yeah can you just especially with uh with the rain being one of probably the best defensive team in the league yeah you know you dig yourself a hole eight minutes in um that's pretty tough uh especially knowing that they weren't going to stop um we kind of felt that right out the gate they were down our throats and um i think you know we were saying to each other in those moments just stay composed and weather the storm um and the storm was continuing to come and we didn't, didn't do that well, but, um, you know, that's another learning experience for this young team. I think, you know, you go down early, you gotta just, you can't concede the next one. And, uh, unfortunately we did that, but, um, just gotta take it and learn from it and, you know, not let that happen again. All right. Thank you, Megan. Uh, safe travels home. We'll see you soon. Hey, Aaron, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, Austin, I'll uh, unmute in just one second. If Aaron, you can maybe get us started with how everyone's feeling after the match tonight. Uh, yeah, um, today's tonight was a hard one. Um, I think we came out uh, flat um, and our style of play, which I thought we did really well last game, you know, we're a pass and move type of team, short passes. Um, we started a little bit frantic, including some of the passes that I made. Um, and, um, you know, they had an incredible atmosphere here. And I think we kind of, um, yeah, we started a little bit on our heels. We weren't as sharp as usual. And to Seattle's credit, I think um, they were fantastic. They have a lot of incredible players, um, a lot of respect to them, but I think we gave them too much respect in the beginning. Um, I am proud of the way that we uh, responded in the second half. Um, you know, we were trying to possess it. We were more courageous on the ball. Um, some things didn't pan off, but we still kept trying. And um, the effort, you have to applaud the effort always with this team. Um, yeah, I think everyone's a little bit gutted. It's been um, a really roller coaster of a season. There's, this team has been through a lot. But I think in general, I'm just really proud of the group. Um, I know it's kind of a bitter way to end, um, but at the same time, 
we have moments where we're brilliant and um, I think we have to focus on those and the bitterness is kind of the hunger in our bellies for um, next season. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate that. Um, Austin, I'll open your line. Thank you, Jackie. Hey, Aaron. Um, just kind of looking at that uh, moment, you kind of talked about how uh, didn't didn't play up to uh, the standards of the team, and there's been games like that throughout this season where it, it seems like the the moment kind of got to the team a little bit. What have you seen from from just those those games where uh, the start may have not been as you wanted, but then maybe the second half, especially in this game, was was better uh, just in terms of kind of building that consistency again. Yeah, I mean, I think we have to start. Um, I don't want to say hungrier. I don't think that's what it is. Um, you know, I think there's a lot, you know, it's a big crowd uh, and we're playing against um, some of the players uh, we're playing against our international stars, you know, and I think um, I'm not saying that we kind of got caught up in that, but I think, um, I think we have to um, trust what we're building here. Um, even though there's been a lot of ups and downs, um, the style of play that we're trying to build is something that takes um, a lot of time. Uh, really knowing one another's movements, um, knowing one another and, you know, which foot we want it passed to. Do you want a leading pass? Do you want to pass to feet? You know, like there's all these like little details um, to play the style that we want to play. So I think it's going to take a tremendous amount of time. I think what I'm proud of now, you know, like if you rewind back and we were playing Portland um, and we started the same way, but we, we gave up. Um, you could feel that and you could see that. And at least now we have the capability as a team to rebound. Um, so I, I'm an overly optimistic person, but I, I think there's merit in that. There's gold in that. So how do we um, become a, a team that just plays a consistent 90 minute game? I don't know the answer necessarily. I do think time and more time together, um, consistent coaching, um, you know, building an identity as a club. I think that's all going to contribute greatly. Seb had actually mentioned something about the, the building of the culture and identity a couple of weeks ago, where he said that uh, it's important to kind of start from preseason and set that culture and that mentality from the very beginning, from the offset, that it continues throughout the, the course of the season. Obviously, uh, there was a lot that changed from the beginning of the season to mid-season to the end of the season. First, kind of a two-part question. How important do you feel that kind of preseason culture is to head into the rest of the season? And also, how do you feel the team kind of adapted through the course of every different little change throughout the course of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think when, when um, you know, Seb took over, I was really proud of the way that we responded. Um, well, we played that Portland game, and I think that was kind of like a defining moment for us as a team. We kind of, as a group, decided um and to Seb's credit you know he was like whatever <laughs> like whatever it is you guys have to sort it and and come together as a team and be on board and let's you know and um and we were embarrassed um and sometimes embarrassment um is a good thing because it ignited a fire in us and we wanted more and I think from that moment on we just had more buy-in and um we started working a lot harder um and yeah and I think kind of getting back to principles and identity, but I'm a huge believer in identity and like, why, why are we playing the game? Why do we show up for Orlando? Like, what does the city mean to us? Uh, you know, what style play, like when people are watching TV, they're like, oh, that's the Orlando pride, you know, like, what is that? And I think that's really important. And I, I definitely do agree. Like if you can have that base and build that culture throughout the season, starting for preseason, that's ideal. Um, and so I think, with that in mind, again, like I'm, I'm proud of the group because we had a lot of ups and downs and coaching changes and, um, you know, what, you know, the keepers have had a, Miguel has been a fantastic goalkeeper coach volunteer and he comes when he can. And, um, you know, we've all kind of had to like adapt to um, every single one of us little changes here and there, but um, we've done our best. I, I can never um, doubt that every person here has just done everything that they can. So, um, and that's all you can do. Kind of speaking of, of Seb, obviously he was put in a very tough situation. Um, what can you say about 
his uh, job that he's done since since he's taken over and do you feel that that he is he is the person that this team needs going forward with with how he's kind of been through everything that you guys have been basically since very near day one yeah i mean seb has been here as long as i've been here um and he's you know been here you know forever and um i think i think he's done a really great job um i've enjoyed playing with seb and um you know like i'm starting to do my b coaching license and he's just finished his a and uh, he's been giving me pointers and um he's a soccer fanatic uh, he's always thinking about soccer. He's always watching soccer. He, um, I think since what I'm, uh, what I value and see in him is since he's taken this role, he's given it everything that he's, and that he can, you know, he's, he's all, always been one of the first people in the building, but, um, he continued to do that one of the last people out. He's so professional, um, and he's so passionate about the game. And, um, he came in halfway through and he had a plan. Um, and we, we did everything we could to kind of uphold that. And I think the testament to who he is after this game, he could have ripped us a new one after the game, but he just talked about how proud he was um, of us for getting through the season that we have. And, um, you know, I think he's a great coach. I also think he's a good man. And I think that makes a difference. Thanks. Yeah. We'll go over to Sean. I just have a question uh, about tonight's game. Uh, in the early, especially the early minutes of the game, uh, the defense was having a little bit of trouble getting the ball out of the back. You received uh, a lot of shots before, uh, without the team going forward. What kind of impact does that have, uh, especially in the defensive unit? Especially with what, sorry? I missed that last one. Especially on a defensive unit when you're receiving that many shots consecutively. Yeah, I mean, I think that was part of it. And what I was saying before, like we gave them a lot of respect. Um, and I think this has been kind of a consistent um, theme for us is like we get into really good um, spots defensively, like positionally, but we we need to go, we have to step that last um, few meters. And we, um, so we have some gains to make um, defensively. I think when, you know, you're getting, shot at a lot um in the first little bit of course it's like from a mindset standpoint it's we've we already given them too much respect and now they're kind of down our throats so i think mentally that's like um a tough thing to um, rebound from so you know um in hindsight you know maybe we um have to do something where we have a pause and come together as a group and, and we did um try to come together as a collective um after they scored but um yeah, I mean, I think, again, um, if I were to look to next season, I think how we start a game will be really important. I think we've had a lot of really great games. It's just about having a, a consistent 90-minute performance, and um, I definitely think um, we'll be working on our starts next season. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Aaron, and safe travels home. Thank you very much. Hello? Hey, Seb, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, uh, we'll finish things off with Seb Hines as usual. Um, Seb, if you can get us started with your overall thoughts on the game today. Um, obviously, disappointing start to the game. You know, it's never good going three goals down at half time. But I, I felt that we were better in the second half. But you know, it was too late by that time. All right, we will go over to Austin. Seb, it's it's not the way that you guys wanted to to finish the season, but looking back on it now, what what was the the message to the players after the game? Uh, just kind of putting it all in perspective, I guess. I think putting it into perspective, um, you know, the players have they've been through so much this season, and we spoke about them. You know, they've been through hell, and they saw a bit of light when we were in that run and not and the message was you know don't let this last end of the season dictate how far you've come and what you've gone through and the adversity that you've shown and the togetherness that you've had to you know bring this group together and have a direction so although it's disappointing then we don't want to end this way we can take a lot of you know pride um you know, moving forward and, you know, they've, they've 
like I said, they've been through a lot this year and it's important that they stick together and come back motivated um, next year. It's kind of looking at this game, first half wasn't the way you wanted to play. Second half was was better. You've talked a lot about uh, the, how, go one, goals change games. Two, how teams kind of get caught up in the moment a little bit. Do you feel that this was one of those times where the team kind of got lost in the moment to begin the game and then by the time they, they found themselves, it was a little bit too late? Yeah, I think uh, we spoke about that, you know, Seattle put this occasion on because, you know, we know that with a win, they would have been top and it'd be a huge celebration and we wanted to spoil the pie. Um, and this is why we play the game. This is why we grow up wanting to play these occasions and play in these stadiums with, you know, fans and against the top teams. And I felt that we, we got a little bit of stage fright. We, you know, almost deer in headlights kind of feelings. And, you know, that's something that we have to take away from this game is that if we want to be a top team, we have to come to environments like this and and get points, whether it's one point or three points. You know, these are, these are the reasons why we play the game is because of the environments that, you know, Seattle hosts. With the season being over, um, obviously the, the off season begins. Um, do you know of, of kind of what's the, the future that holds for you with this team or is there still discussions that need to be had? Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of answers right now. We, we're unsure about everything in terms of my future, you know, the staff's future, um, you know, play future and that, that can take its toll on the, on everyone. You know, we there's so many answers um, that we're looking for, but again, you know, we have to look at what's in front of us. And today was coming to Seattle and trying to get a result, um, which, you know, we we let ourselves down today. We we need to be better. We need to do the basics better um, in terms of just competing and fighting and, you know, connecting passes and being threatening. Um, and we do that and we, we, we have more success um, in this game today. So yeah, uh, again, we, we want to look to the future, but yeah, we still are unsure what that looks like. Just kind of looking at the, the season in general, who out of the, the, the players do you feel like kind of took the, the biggest step forward uh, just in terms of their professional advancements to, to kind of be uh, a better NWSL player? I think you look at the roster, we've got we've got a lot of young players, um, you know, a lot of rookies, first year players who've really stepped up. I think they've got more minutes. I think our, our first year players have had more minutes than any other club. And that's great. Like that's that's great to get that sort of experience, that sort of um, time on the field in different environments as well. You know, coming here um, is a great, great occasion for a lot of the young players to get that experience so early on in the careers. I can't really pick anyone out because, you know, we look at last year, a lot, a lot of these players didn't have significant minutes and, you know, they've had opportunities to play and they've done really well. So, you know, we can only look towards the future in terms of, Hey, we've, we've had, you know, a lot of playing time and, you know, there, there has to be a hunger for next year of, wanting more so like I said there's not a particular player that I can can just single out but you know the players have been terrific through you know a really difficult season kind of going through that season I mean how important is it to, to get all these players young minutes to to kind of not just evaluate them as as professionals within this team but also just to further their development and maybe other situations where there were more veteran players on the roster, they wouldn't have necessarily gotten those opportunities. How important do you feel that is just kind of putting that into perspective of the season? I think it's really important. I think it's really important to give young players minutes. Um, you know, there isn't, I grew up in England um, and, you know, for a young player, it's hard to get minutes when there's a, a stacked senior team in front of you. So, 
usually you go on loan and try other leagues, but it's not set up like this over here. So we're trying to trying to give them that experience of coming to places like Seattle, Portland, you know, even Angel C, where they've got big crowds and they know what to expect. So then next time they come around, they know, you know, what the occasion's about, what the, you know, the fans are like around the, the field. And, you know, they'll it'll put them in uh, better positions moving forward mentally. So I think it's really important for young players to get um, good minutes and been in and around it as much as they can. And then, you know, it's only going to help them in, in terms of their development. All right, Seb, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Cheers, Austin. Thank you. Sean, you got anything? All right, Seb, I think you're all set. Thanks again, and we'll see you back in Orlando. Appreciate it.